What's going on guys? I wanted to do a little Q&A for uh, my alternative to shed the house video. I've had so many questions. It's, it's unreal. That video, like three days, it had 80,000 views and a lot of comments. So I'm going to try to answer some of your old questions. It just, uh, so many questions flooded in. There's no way that I could keep up with trying to respond to you all. So instead of trying, or not trying, but instead of not answering your questions, I'm going to try to answer some of them. So, Jen B. Sweet asks, uh, I am curious, where did you find the prices on Amish built barns? I wondered how much more it would have been to have them build a small house. This is really cool. So, where we live at, there's Amish groups that live around us, and, uh, and we see them at the store all the time. They go down the road. We just simply talk to one of them that build barns and just told them what we wanted to do, and they build it for us. Now, uh, if you live in an area that have Amish, you could just talk to them, or a lot of Amish will put in the newspaper You'll see like an ad that says like uh, barns or you know, anything like that. Amish built barns. Don't go to the shed. The shed builders because they're 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 like in a different bracket as far as pricing, and uh, they won't do it for you. When the Amish were here building dads, when the Amish that built my shed the house pulled up with mine and they couldn't believe how cheap they were doing it for so all right tomek uh, there's no way i can pronounce this last name what about humidity removing like uh humidity inside the house if you have ever built a house or thinking about it you have to put a tyvek house wrap or something around the house before you put the tin on otherwise the tin will sweat and that will cause humidity in your house also if you have an attic that like we put up you either on top of the house you see those things that turn or you'll have vents it, it lets all that heat out of the house so there's no humidity and we have the wood stove there's definitely no humidity Carl Jackson what Amish builder did you use? So many of you all asked who, I, who we used. Uh, I, I'm more than willing to give you all that information for that guy if you live in Kentucky. I don't want to, because uh, they, don't, they don't really have phones. They might have a house phone down by the road. I don't want that guy's phone to blow up like crazy with a bunch of calls and questions and stuff. I don't mean nothing bad about that. I just try to protect him a little bit. But if you live in Kentucky, let me know and I'll give you the information. Did you say you were at or, uh, Renji? I have two questions from this guy. How did you say you were, did you say you were able to sit in the crawl space or stand? I could definitely sit. I can, I can stand if I'm bent over. But it's enough to move around in there. It's better than crawling. All right, the next question, how much was the total cost for it? Is it up to code? A lot of people had questions about the building codes, permits, all this stuff. We live in a county that has no building codes, no permits, no zoning, no nothing, which is one of the reasons we wanted to be out here. Why build something if you got to ask somebody permission? That makes no sense to me. I'm going to go tell them, you know, hey, I want to do this, and they're going to tell me no. Nah, not going to happen. All right, Mel Melinda Dudley. Uh, da, 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 da. How can I get the Amish to build for me? Check the newspaper out, see if you can find an Amish builder. Get online, see if you can find local Amish groups. Search like Google. Uh, Amish groups around me or get on uh, you know every state has these little Facebook groups you know trading or homesteading blow it up blow it out there hey looking for Amish barn builders somebody will get back a hold of you 
Isaiah 6-8. That stove, what brand, what brand make and model? I'll have to look that up, and I'll leave that in the description for you, Isaiah. It's a... Uh, I can't remember. I, I want to say Westinghouse, but I, I don't want to tell you wrong. It's old. It's like 30 years old. But I know Tractor Supply has the same kind. I just don't know if all that fire regulation stuff, if it's the same thing. What company did he use? <laughs> well, it... There was a lot of you all that asked if there was a manufacturer or a company that built it or a website to get a hold of them. They don't have any of that stuff. It, it, when we had them come out, it was just the father, and he he was in charge, and he had his son and uh, two son-in-laws, or one son-in-law. So it's just three of them out here, and, they're, and their driver, but he just sat in the truck. So they're... They're old-fashioned. They don't have a lot of the new stuff to be able to contact them or check in them out or anything like that. Hitchhiker. <laughs> this is a funny one. Is storing gas under the house a good idea? Probably not. <laughs> but good luck telling the old man that. <laughs> Thick skin. Okay, they got confused when I... Because I... I wasn't very uh i mumble and i'd say stuff wrong but they asked how much my shed house was and how much dad's was dad's for the shell i'll make another video telling you all how much we've got in it so far but just the shell the porches putting the windows in and the doors putting them in was twenty-one thousand. For the Amish to do it. Now we've done a lot of work and a lot more prices with that, but I'll, I'll do another video on that for you all. Mine was, uh, I gave 7500 for my shed, my uh, 16 by 40, and a lot more stuff with that I'll talk to you all about. Uh, classic, I don't know how good you all can hear me, the rain's pouring. about the rib the uh, tin on the ceiling how that would work the way the ceiling is it it comes up and goes on the ceiling and there's channels that it sets in on the walls and the boards come up the wall and set against that channel that way it's flush just like a molding or a corner trim I hope I answered uh, most of y'all's questions. There's, like I said, there's been so many. If you all think of anything else, I can always do another one of these Q&As and answer them. A lot easier for me to do it like this. You get a lot of questions answered just one shot. If you all uh, like what I've been doing so far, make sure you subscribe and like and share. Share, please. Somebody asked if I cared if they shared, please do. That helps me out big time with what I'm trying to do, what I'm trying to accomplish, and what I'm trying to show you all. So, thank you all.